Okay, so how well do you actually understand basic math? Well, if you have pretty strong basic math skills, this should be a very easy problem to solve without the aid of a calculator. All right, so let's go to take a look at this problem. We have 12 tenths divided by 0.2. Now, this is a multiple choice question, and uh, let's go to take a look at our answers here. So A is 24. B is 0.6, C is 0.24, and D is 6. All right, so once again, the only rule uh, here is no calculator. But if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, we'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, now before we show you the answer, let's go ahead and take uh, one more look at the problem and the course uh, answer choices. So we have 12 tenths divided by 0.2. Now, if you're saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I totally forgot this stuff because this was way back like 40 years ago. I think I learned this in like the fourth grade. Well, I totally get that because you're going to have to remember uh, this, uh, you know, quote unquote stuff, math stuff that you learned way back in primary and elementary school in order to do this problem. But let's see how your memory is with this problem because the correct answer is D6. All right, now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face and a plus a 100% and a certificate of excellence for being a certified professional expert in the area of place value, okay, which, of course, has something to do with decimals and dividing fractions because this is going to be probably the most direct way in order to solve this problem. All right, now, again, if you're like, yes, I uh, knew this, uh, you know, a long time ago, but I forgot... Well, that is uh, typically the case because we're always using our calculator. So that's why I say in the beginning of these videos, you know, if you really understand basic math and, you know, if you're retaining your basic math skills, that means you could do problems without your calculator. So that's why I say put that thing away. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and get into this right now because this is not that difficult, but it is extremely important. All right, so here is our problem. We have 12 tenths divided by uh, 0.2. Now, there is another way to say this decimal. I will uh, get into that in just one second. But, you know, we take a look at our answers here. We're like, well, we have a 12 and we have a 2. This is a 0.2. But uh, you might be saying to yourself, well, if I had to guess, uh, Mr. U2 Math Man, you know, maybe I can figure this thing out and guess the right answer. I have a 12 and 2, so maybe 12 times 2 is 24. Maybe it's 0.24. Maybe it's 24. Or 12 divided by 2 is uh, 6, maybe it's 0.6, or maybe 6. So here, you know, the answers are all kind of logical in terms of doing something with these numbers. So the only way to really figure out the right answer, which, of course, is D6, is to understand the math, which means you have to understand something about place value and decimals. Now, of course, uh, there is a separate part of this problem which has to deal with fractions, but we can't even get into the problem unless we understand what 12 tenths is and a 0.2 is because we need to be able to communicate in the same language, the same numeric language, in order to do this problem. All right, so let's get into this right now. So uh, what we're talking about, again, is something called place value. Now, place value is... Uh, all that fun stuff that we learned way back, I don't know, third grade, fourth grade, or whatever it was. So if we have 0.3, okay, or 0.357, and if you remember, uh, your teacher saying, hey, what place is the 3 in? Okay, so matter of fact, there's a little pop quiz for you. What place is the 3 in? Put that into the comment section if you know. And what place is the 5 in? Okay, or what place is the 7 in? Well, the 3 is in the tenths place, okay, the tenths place, the five is in the hundreds place, and the seven is in the thousands place, and we can go on and on and on here, but uh, this concept of what place something is, uh, what the value of a digit is, is what we call place value. Now, this is a, 
a uh, pretty you know, big topic. It's not that complicated, but it certainly warrants more of a uh, review than I'm kind of you know going to do in this video. But this is what we need to kind of uh, remember uh, in terms of uh, you know doing this problem. Hey, what is 12 tenths, and what is this point two? Well, this point two we can say in another way using place value, right? So you hopefully you picked up a bit of a bit of a clue here because if you had point three. Uh, how would we say this decimal? Well, if you say, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, that's 0.3 or 3 tenths. Well, you're on the right track. So let's go ahead and figure out what 12 tenths is equal to, and then we'll get into this 0.2 here in a second. All right, so 12 tenths is equal to the fraction 12 over 10, or 12 tenths, okay? So when you want to convert um, a number, when it's kind of written in its place value, you literally need to kind of put this into a fraction. So 12 tenths is 12 tenths, okay? All right, now, if this is confusing, that just means you need a bit more review on place value. That is the topic that you want to study. I'll give you some uh, specific uh, suggestions here in a moment on how you can really uh, relearn place value and decimals and whatnot. But this is what we want to do. We want to take this 12 tenths and write it as 12 over 10. Now, you could convert this to a decimal, but uh, I think the easiest way to do this is to convert this into a fraction. All right, so 12 tenths is equal to 12 over 10. Now let's talk about this 0.2. All right, so what is 0.2? Again, uh, we have to think about place value. This is the decimal 0.2 or 2 tenths. So you could describe this decimal. Now here is the fraction 2 tenths. You could say, oh, this is 2 tenths. Now if you are used to describing decimals, using place values, that's outstanding. That's excellent, okay? But uh, most people would probably say, no, oh, this is the decimal point two. Uh, so I would say uh, maybe, oh, I don't know, 25% of the people, and this is just some you know random guess that I'm taking, but the majority of people would describe this number here as point two, and then some portion of people would say, oh, this is two tenths. Now, those of you that see this as two tenths, that's fantastic because this is two tenths, and the equivalent fraction is two over 10, okay? Two tenths, all right? So we have two tenths here and 12 tenths there. So we can kind of combine this into one lovely fraction problem. All right, so what we're going to do here is rewrite our 12 tenths as 12 over 10, and our 0.2, we're going to think of uh, that value as 2 tenths. So this is going to be a lovely uh, fraction uh, division problem. Of course, now we're going to get into fractions. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, should we reduce these fractions right here? You know, like this, make it this into one-fifth, or uh, this we can... Uh, convert as six fifths. Well, not not, to, not necessarily. It's always a good idea to reduce your fractions, and it's not a bad idea to do it at this stage of the game. But this is going to be super easy to solve, and our problem here now really is 12 tenths divided by 0.2 is equivalent to 12 tenths divided by 2 tenths. Right. So this is the way we want to do this without the aid of a calculator. So let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just don't you love the way I kind of have to throw that in? Now, I throw that in because I love this word right here, help, okay? Now, you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, what do you need help in? Well, you know, of course, I, there's a lot of areas in my life uh, that I need help in because I have goals, right? So if you're trying to achieve goals or, tr or trying to solve a problem, which, of course, could be a goal, and if you can't figure it out on your own, well, then you need to go get some help, right? This doesn't have to be a bad word. Matter of fact, it should be a good word, okay? So for those of you that are struggling in math, you know, get the help that you need, okay? Find a teacher that you like and understand. But most importantly, never, ever give up on yourself. And when it comes to math, set uh, clear goals, right? So, uh, you know, you don't want to say, ah, oh, the worst kind of goal is like, I just want to pass my class with a C minus, right? Well, that's not good. Set high goals, things that kind of uh, stretch you. And uh, along the way, you need to find the help to support, you know, reaching those goals. Now, when it comes to my YouTube channel, I am trying to help as many people as possible. The only way I can do that is to get people like yourself to hit that subscribe button because that YouTube algorithm really does like that, okay? Really pushes out my content to connect with other people that can benefit from this instruction. And if you're gonna do that, go ahead and hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so now let's go ahead and finish this problem up because this is going to be pretty straightforward. 
All right, so we have 12 tenths divided by 0.2, or 2 tenths. Now we have to talk about how to divide fractions, and this is, of course, a basic math skill as well. All right, so uh, in order to divide fractions, we need to know how to multiply fractions. So if this was a multiplication problem, how do you multiply fractions? Well, the way you multiply fractions is you simply multiply the respective numerator and denominator. So this would be 12 times 2 or 24 over 10 times 10, which, of course, would be 100. But you can uh, obviously reduce this and simplify this along the way. But that's kind of a separate discussion. But this is how you multiply fractions. Now, I bring that up because what we want to do here is divide these fractions. Now, we don't really divide fractions per se. What we're going to do is change a division problem of fractions into multiplication. Okay, and of course, I just showed you how to multiply fractions, so let's go to do that right now. All right, so how do we change a problem, a division problem, into an equivalent multiplication problem when it comes to fractions? Uh, pretty easy. All we need to do, we're going to go from division to multiplication. We're going to take the fraction to the right of the division symbol. In this case, it's 2 tenths, and we're going to flip it upside down. That's called the reciprocal. So we're going to flip this 2 over 10, 2 tenths, upside down, so this becomes 10 over 2. And when we do this, this becomes multiplication. All right, so the equivalent problem, 12, uh, 12 tenths divided by 2 tenths, is equal to 12 tenths times 10 over 2. And this is the problem we can do pretty easily. And a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do this right now. All right, so remember, we're going to multiply the respective numerators and denominators. We have 12 times 10 over 10 times 2. But one of the best things you can do when you're dealing with fractions is cross-cancel any like factors uh, in the numerator and denominator. In other words, if we see the same value okay, in the numerator, which is the top part of the fraction, and the bottom part of the fraction, like here we have a 10 up here and a 10 down here, 110 for 110, we can cross-cancel and get rid of those. So this uh, really comes down to this problem, 12 divided by 2. 12 divided by 2, of course, is 6. So no need to go uh, 12 times 10, which is 120, over uh, 10 times 2, uh, which is, of course, a 20. Then do that division. You always want to look for opportunities to uh, cross-cancel. Now, again, this gets into a lot of different facets of basic math, fractions, reducing, simplifying, place value, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, if you need help, Okay, with basic mathematics, I have the perfect little course for you. It's called my Math Foundations course. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. It's only a three-chapter mini course, and all my uh, courses are self-paced. But uh, I will cover uh, all the things that most of us forgot when it comes to basic math, place, to include pla uh, place value, fractions, percent, uh, order of operations, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you are not a student and you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I just like to relearn math, you know, maybe you want to kind of go beyond that, well, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course because in here I cover basic math uh, and algebra, geometry, and even some basic trigonometry and probability and statistics. All right, so hopefully... You know, none of you out there, you know, felt bad that you couldn't remember what 12 tenths is. Uh, my videos are not designed to make anyone feel bad, right? But we do forget, and that's why in my videos I say put your calculator away, right? So you're not, you know, using your calculator, you're not really doing math per se. Yes, you're doing calculations, but you're not practicing the math concepts. So put the calculator away, just get a, uh, you know, piece of paper and a pencil and, you know, challenge yourself to remember this stuff. But uh, anyways, hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.